I'm Ken. And I'm Scott, and welcome back to Liberty Marksman. Today we're going to return back to part two of our M16A1 build. Uh, we started part one with our 80% arms lower receiver build. And part two is going to be about dura coating our M16A1 surplus kit that we got from Water Country. Uh, the kit came with everything but the lower receiver and a barrel. And as far as the barrel went, we picked up a Green Mountain that's in the stock profile to this gun. And uh, that's all we needed. Yep. The process is basically going to be clean, sandblast, clean, paint, then bake. Durko says you don't have to bake, but we've got an oven, so we're going to go low. Yep. Low temp and we want to knock down the cure time so we don't have to wait the two weeks. So I guess it's time to get out to the shop. Let's do it. Let's go. Alright guys, we moved from the war room to the shop and we're going to start cleaning our parts. We're going to clean it in mineral spirits to get off all the oil and the grime before we go into the blast cabinet. We don't want any of the media to stick to the oil and the other crud that's on us from years of being in a lockup. Yeah, well, we're actually, we've got this fabricated pan that we made up, as you might have seen in our last episode. We've got virgin mineral spirits in here, because we're actually cleaning on top of a 60-gallon cleaning tank, but we're not going to use something that's already oily and greasy and dirty. We're starting with virgin material. That'll help get rid of and thin out all those greases and oils that are fucking just built up on it. And once we get it dry, it'll dry out a lot faster so that we can actually do the same blessing where it won't stick. Uh, but even after that, we're not going to trust that. That's why we're going to go with the acetone. Better to be safe than sorry. All right, guys, let's do this. All right, guys, if you get some brushes like these, different sizes, and make a big difference, then you can get right down, right through there, get all that gunk and nastiness out. Get some little ones to get down in here. Alright guys, be sure to completely blow dry your parts before you go in the blast tank. Alright, we're here in the blast cabinet. We're using aluminum ox and we need to just rough up the surface enough that the paint will adhere. So, here we go. Now when you're doing your composites or your Bakelite surfaces like this, this you want to call it a plastic or a Bakelite, you can't use the same pressure that you would on metal or on your aluminum stuff. You have to reduce that pressure by far, otherwise it'll just eat away at it and distort it. And you can see it's very little pressure and it just cleans that surface. And that's it. Now after you're done with the sand blasting, you want to make sure that you get all the little nooks and crannies and everything, you want to blow them out with air before you go into your last clean. That way it won't gum up or stick in there. If there's anything in there, usually the air pressure will push it out and then we'll let the virgin acetone get in there and it'll break anything else out. Alright guys, this is our last step before we go to paint. We are cleaning all of our parts in acetone. And that's going to remove any oils that could be left on the surfaces. We want to make sure that our paint adheres and stays there. If you got oils on there, might not get a proper bond. Paint will come off, start an edge to chip, and it's all downhill from there. All right, we'll see you in the paint booth. And it's time to mix our dirt coat. We've got, uh, this has already been shaken real well. we got to get all the, it settles really hard down on the bottom, so you got to make sure it's really well mixed. And it's a 12 to 1 ratio. We've already pre-measured it out. So we are going to and as usual hardness usually a caustic should have gloves on but that's okay. 
Lucy. There we go. And now we stir. We'll see you at the gun. Good. The first layer to the upper receiver. and the lower receiver. This is going on glossy, but it will turn out to be a matte finish. So it'll look original. Alright guys, if you don't have an automotive style paint gun, you can always get pick up a cheap airbrush, relatively cheap, with a little compressor for not a lot of money. And uh, it paints really well if you're not used to painting. Uh, you can keep you can adjust the flow rate on the fly and keep it real slow and even and do multiple coats, take baby steps. Alright, when you see it in the light you can see there's no runs you get a perfect even sheen that that'll show you that you got a good even coat on it don't try to rush it take your time it's not a race just make sure it's good and even light build if you gotta put a layer down let it sit and flash put another layer put another layer take your time the outcome will be that much better all right, so we're back in the war room, and it's been about two weeks since we painted our Dura coat on our M16A1 build. Uh, this is our finished product. Later on, we'll give you a couple close-ups of what we of the actual finish. But before that, we're going to recap and give you a few pointers and tips on how to get an even coat. All right, so we're, we're lucky enough to have a blast cabinet. But if you don't have a blast cabinet, you can use 600 grit sandpaper. You want to just take. Anything shiny down, open up the pores so it'll accept the paint. Or you could use Scotch Brite. Green Scotch Brite works really well for that. It's a good alternative to sandpaper because you're not going to go too deep with your scratches, which you'll leave in your finish. And then the best tip we can give you is clean, clean, clean. Make sure there's absolutely no oil so you get your best uh, adhesion that way. So, uh, want to show them some of the parts? Absolutely. There's our lower receiver. Came out fantastic. We're really happy with it. We couldn't wait completely, so we had to install the barrel and the sight in the gas tube. Alright, so that's Duracoat. We're, uh, stay tuned. We're going to have the build video on this M16 coming up soon. And eventually some shooting. Eventually. See you then.